Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Fitz, and welcome back to Pokemon Prism Nuzlocke. Last episode, we uh, were tasked with getting 20 brick pieces, uh, which we had to find, I believe, in Oxalis Ox City. Uh, you can find them in the Pokemart. Um, so we had to kind of go searching for that. They did. They gave us uh, that the hint that um, they were sold in Marts, but. Uh, they didn't tell us which one so we had to fly here and then run back um, from uh, this town uh, since there is no direct fly um, to where we are now um, so that's pretty much that uh, i don't think i trained up or anything in between episodes so i think we have our same team it's working out pretty well for us right now and uh yeah let's continue on and start the episode so talk to this guy uh, so you have some bricks want to give them to me so i can build the bridge sure Good, time to get to work. How invigorating. Well, that's my workout for the week. I'm done. Bye. Alright, so uh, that seems like a pretty nice way to spend your week. If that's all you gotta do. So we have the Damp Rock. If we ever get Rain Dance uh, or a Drizzlemon, could be kind of cool. Um, I don't know if that was in the second generation games. I'm guessing not, but not totally sure. Uh, they saw a big piece of ocean and they just said, hey, why don't we build a city on that? I just find the notion hilarious. Okay, so uh, this seems like the uh, third generation. What town was that? It wasn't Sutopolis. It was um, something else. So kind of similar, it seems like. My EV evolved into Glaceon while uh, training it hard in the Catherite Tunnel. However, my wife's EV evolved into Leafian instead. I'm not sure why. The theory I have is that they were in vastly different areas. All right, so he's pretty close with that. Uh, let's just heal up here so we can use this as a fly spot. I'm sure you don't actually have to heal up, but that's just the way I do it. So um, I just wanted to say sorry for the mic issues on the last episode. Hopefully uh, they're getting better and better. Um, continuing, continually tweak, tweaking uh, the audio. So hopefully it gets better, and uh, who knows, maybe my commentary will get better too, so let's see. So we have a lighthouse, okay, uh, using fire type Pokemon to keep it lit, okay. Uh, in Johto, they use an electric type Pokemon instead of fire types, but okay. This was a decent place to live in until the gym leader showed up. She uses gas type Pokemon. The foul odor is unpleasant. I could see that. So she also has an aggron. I think we saw one a couple episodes ago. It's crazy. This used to be nothing but sea. Who knows where they'll end up building the next Nalho town. Okay. Paralysis. Can massively change the outcome of battles with Pokemon. See for yourself. Assuming Thunder Wave. Alright. It'll paralyze the foe unless, of course, the foe's ground type. So I assume we'll still be able to paralyze electric types in this gen. Could be a useful tech. Um, so, we'll keep that in mind. Calm Sea is so relaxing, I can fall asleep just standing here and staring at it. Your Pokemon can fall asleep too, with this. Alright, so we get rest. Two, two TMs in a row. Kind of weird. Not particularly helpful ones. Uh, we can check out with the Mart. They got two guys selling here, so... Should be good stuff. Uh, we can buy three more, just so we're at an even number. Um, money is always an issue in this game, so we could try to go back and uh, find like Moo Moo Milks and stuff, but um, so if we have gold tokens, we can get QR scanners, that's pretty cool. A, a tracker to keep track of your gold tokens, okay. Uh, smelter, okay, so there's so much in this game, uh, I probably won't be able to cover it all. I don't know if there was like a YouTuber who did a good job of it, um, but I would definitely want to check that out if they did, so um, definitely show it to me if you uh, have seen anything like that. We'll check out the rest of the city before we take on the gym, but I assume we'll do it in this episode. Okay. So we have Route 68, Route 82, I don't think we have an encounter on either the lighthouse so let's check it out first uh, there might be a Pokemon encounter in this I'm assuming there will be 
even though it's happy music. Um, hello, young one. Nab Nobo sent you? Have I seen the Naha Guardian Varinus? Yes, I have. I'm in charge of this lighthouse, and I see all. Varinus uh, went to Saxifrage, the prison island in the southwest. It looks like it's going to awaken Fambaco, who's been sleeping there for centuries. Hmm, looks like you need help getting there. This HM should be of help to you. Alright, I guess I'm the only one that can save us. HML3 is surf. It's a move that lets Pokemon swim across water. Okay, so I assume we need this city's gym badge for it. And uh, we will give it to for Alligator. I believe he's still rocking Water Gun, right? So, uh, we get a bunch of different moves in this episode already. And uh, finally, the first very useful one. Okay, so we do have Water Gun, so we'll take, get rid of that. I don't think it's wasting a slot by having Surf on here, so uh, we might be able to use it at times. And I think that's it, so uh, we could try to Surf, I guess. Yeah, we can't, so uh, we'll have to take on the gym. I do not remember fully um, how Gas-type works, but I believe Electric is good against it. Uh, we might try a couple different typings before we actually face the gym leader, so let's see if we can actually get uh, help from this guy. Gym leader's name is Ayaka. Uh, she specializes in, in gas. Do refrain from breathing too much in here. Oh, well that's not helpful. Okay, so I'm assuming this gas clouds poison us. But I'm not sure about that. Uh, oh yeah, let's battle, why not? Okay. So we got a super nerd, Jonas. And I don't think this is gas type, right? I'm liking the levels so far. Not too bad. Venomoth's scary though. Yeah, does a lot of damage. And it actually outspeeds, which is weird. Would not have thought that. So it's doing 40 damage, so crit knocks us out. Okay. That's good. And we get to level 37. 106 attack, very nice. Coughing. Okay. Um, so I think Ashley will probably be pretty useful here. I don't know if we still have Psybeam or Psychic, but uh, we'll be able to hit hard regardless. We do have Psybeam. Okay. So that actually knocks out Coughings. Probably won't knock out Weezing, but when we face them inevitably. Uh, let's see. Right here. Hopefully no self-destructs. Um, never want to see that in a Nuzlocke. But it'll be nice to gauge how much this does. It's a solid two-shot. And that really isn't bad. Non-stab, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll try to get the rest of the team some EXP as well. And figure out how the gas clouds work. probably heal up. Okay, nice one. You know that gas blocking away? That problem just got blown away. Oh, okay. Uh, so I assume you just can't go through it. Uh, if you could and your Pokemon get poisoned, that's kind of a cool idea though too. Uh, I'm not going to test it out though, so. Uh, we can put out James actually. And hope gas types can't hit him super effectively. Alright. Always hard to move in this game. Uh, I'm cough. I'm all ready to battle since I have to or whatever. Alright. I don't want to cough into my brand new microphone. Sorry. Torkoal. Okay. So is it fire gas? I'm assuming he can hit us super effectively, so... Going right into Roger. Fire spin, okay. We'll just surf, see how much it does. I always loved this animation, it took forever. Alright. That does a solid chunk, wow, okay. 
get freed from fire spin and grow a level. I have to use Torkoal we'll to stay in. Okay. I'm wondering what I want to start with then. Might go with Luxray. Since Butterfree might be a liability depending on what she starts with. Okay. And Ariados. So. We can just go into James, I think. I think that should be fine. Level 38 is scary, though. We'll probably see our first level 40 here. Uh, let's just side beam. Oh, okay. Almost a two shot. We can take a few of those. Maybe just two more. <laughs> Okay, and we actually get the knockout. Okay, didn't think that would. So we don't get the level up. That's fine. Her name's Camry. Interesting. Okay. Because the leader told me to do it. Yeah. All right. So people here seem kind of dull. I don't know. It's cool with me though. Maybe they just can't talk very well from all the smoke inhalation. It's like when uh, Kramer uh, starts like a cigar. A club in his apartment <laughs> and looks like an 8 year old man after like 48 hours or something. One of my favorite Seinfeld episodes. Alright, so we are going to start with uh, Watson, like I said, and we can go from there. So let's see how we do. Someone's here? Okay, I see. You're a knight wielding a shovel. No, you're just a trainer out to get my gym badge. How boring. Ugh. Well, according to my very demanding schedule, I have time for a battle. So, sure. Okay. I'm Ayaka. I use gas-type Pokemon. Now let's get this over with already. Alright. None of the gym leaders in this region seem that particularly interested in fighting, so... I don't know where that started. I thought it would have been a girl, but now I'm not really sure. Could go either way, I suppose. Uh, so we actually start out with Haunter. Not what I expected. Uh, level 36. Not bad. I think we faced a, um, a ghost or poison gym leader that had haunters and Gengars already, so seems like an odd choice. Uh, if he heals, we'll just go for Night Slash. Okay, Confusion's an odd choice as well. He actually gets the Confusion, so it worked out for him, but yeah, still odd. Um, not the way hardest way to hit us. So it looks like we only have Hyper Potions. I think I knew this from a previous episode, but we'll just use them. It's fine. Okay, so we can Night Slash, get the KO. Alright. And we get the KO, so. We're a little weakened, but uh, we don't have to use Watts in the rest of the battle, depending on as long as we don't need Intimidate. So Drapion is a little scary. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's not a great Pokemon to see. You can go into Carry. Level 41. I would have loved to get an Intimidate off on this guy. Uh, let's fly. Or is it just Wing Attack and see what he does first? Does nothing. Okay. Sludge bomb. Okay. Let's go into wheezing. Okay. Hopefully it's just normal. Um, let's try the gas type move, I guess. He wants to keep doing that. Oh, well, that was a crit. I'm okay with that though. Is this normal effective? Nice, okay. We take that. Night slash. Ooh. Okay, if he had crit, he would have killed. I just thought he'd keep going for hidden power, so. Definitely scary. Um, but Weezing takes hits very well. And we get the knockout. Carry grows a level. 
and so does James. Okay, 104 defense, I like it. Torkoal's gonna be at next, and we have a nice switch in for that. This has been one of the better gym battles so far. Hopefully we can keep the team of six going though. Seem like a dream team at this point. Okay, and last is going to be Weezing. Okay, uh, so I kind of like carry. Uh, Self-destruct is definitely a possibility, so just hope it doesn't happen and that we can two-shot with Psybeam. Okay, with a crit, so we needed it. Sludge Bomb. I don't know, if he poisons, maybe we go down here? Oh no, that didn't do that much, okay. Um, so, I'll have 45 steps to get to the PC as well, so. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We'll conclude our discussion with uh, this lady and make sure no cutscenes pop up, but I think we should be fine. All right. So maybe they're just high all the time. I didn't really understand that at first, but that's probably what they're going for. So we got TM92 Mustard Gas. It's a... Uh, my brain hurts. You figure it out. Okay, let's check it out. Attack that may inflict a burn. Sounds pretty amazing. Okay. Let's give it to James. And I think we can get rid of Steel Eater for now, because I think we have that as a TM. Er, they're both they're both poison types, so let's get rid of. Hmm. Wait. Let's see what TMs we actually have. We have none of those. Okay, so I'll figure out what that TM is for, unless one of you guys want to let me know. Um, but in the next episode, we'll continue on. Uh, we learn where Varinus was, so we're going to uh, surf and figure that out. Uh, there will be a lot of surfing spots, so um, we'll have a lot of practice uh, and a lot of different places to go and a lot of places to train. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.